Yo, what's up? Um, today gonna be breaking down a um a little regalia type beat, uh something that Jace or TG may uh hop on, maybe even destroy, uh as well. But um, yeah, and hopefully y'all can hear me better too. Uh, let me know in the comments or whatnot. But um, yeah, I jump right into it. Um, so for starters, I got this MIDI from uh. K2 Finesse. I just downloaded it. I really don't know who this is, but I just downloaded his uh, MIDI pack. Um, yeah, but this is a pretty hard MIDI, so I'll play it for you and then um, go over it and whatnot. But, um, yeah, that's a pretty hard MIDI. And, um... This uh, is in C sharp minor, so uh, I'm guessing he just laid down his bass notes and then made his chorus from there. But um, with these type of beats and, and melodies and stuff like that, you want to make sure that um, you want to make sure that uh, there's some type of bounce to it. Like you can you can hear how it kind of bounces from all of these down. And then how it comes, uh, it bounces down right here from this one. And then it goes back up right there. Um, yeah, and I like the way he made these chords because it, it makes it easy to map out the how the 808 should go. But we'll dive into that later. But um, yeah, that's just the main progression. And then I layered that with another pad from um, Nexus. Oh, let me show y'all that sound. This is Pop Keys from Piano and Nexus 3. And then I layered that with this sound. So yeah, I just um use the same uh, progression from the piano. And that's uh, kind of like a cheat code for these type of beats. If you want to um make some regalia, if you to add ambience, you can just really just um, copy over whatever piano progression you had, um, and use a pad so it can blend like they blend nicely together when you do stuff uh, do stuff like that. And then um, next, I just put some uh, piano, not piano, some uh, strings on the uh, bass notes of the whole progression. So I'll let you hear how that sounds. show so yeah that that's what give it um gives it that kind of evil feeling when you're listening to it um and that preset is just regular 808 mafia strings from nexus i use a lot of nexus and nexus 2 for this beat um this preset was uh space violence yeah i experimented with these two i like both of these for uh, this beat but i just ended up going with space violence um next what we uh, we have just the uh, strings for the strings i just copied over the um uh like you can kind of see how i did the strings i just took these kind of jumping um piano notes and then i just uh layered my strings over that so it sounds like this <laughs> Regalia for like regalia type of beats, you can either have like really evil, dark, nasty strings, or you can have like um, lush, beautiful type of hopeful strings. I um, I hope you get what I mean there. Just like the vibes, like you, you can tell the vibe. Of, the vibes of these is kind of um, mean, whatnot. So that's just one thing to keep in mind when you're making these type of beats. And then um, the first uh, bell, just a uh, tubular bell out of purity. Everybody knows this. <laughs> And then it goes, yeah, um, for sure. And then what else? Okay, so yeah, the preset for those strings from Nexus was just, 
Oh, no, that's the other part of the B. Hold on. Yeah, just uh, big drama strings from Nexus 3. So, yeah. Um, and I will let y'all hear how this whole melody sounds together. So yeah, that's the, um, that's the whole melody. And then for, um, I put this in the beat just for, um, is this the right one? No, this is not the right one. Um, which one is it? Is it this one? It is. Um, I just put this in the beat to bring it in just cause it, uh, I don't know. It gives it kind of like an alien feel. I feel like you, you're getting abducted. But I like this this type of ambience in um in a beat like this because it it's a more futuristic feel. But when it kind of um transition into the regalia, it sounds it sounds really nice. So I just uh, let you hear it. So yeah, and as you can see, for these type of beats, you really don't have to like go crazy with the patterns, um, and whatnot. You can do a lot of layering for these type of beats because they're not complicated. Like the most complicated you probably will get with a, with these type of beats is um is like with the strings. If you want to have a really complex string uh, string pattern, you can do that. But you don't have to uh, really overcomplicate it. And honestly, you can't even hear that beat. I mean that pattern in the final beat because I kind of like. Uh, kind of flipped it and whatnot. So when the beat comes in, it sounds like this. So you can't even really hear um, hear that part. But what I actually may do is put it put that right here, just so it can have a um, somewhat of a bridge. I like that for a bridge. Um, what else, what else, what else did we go over? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the, um, so the drums, when I did the drums, um, I knew I wanted to go uh, really simple, but still hard hitting. So, I'll just start from the top down with the, um, with the 808s. So yeah, I just uh, followed the same bass notes from the chord progression. I followed them all the way down, but I flipped these two in the MIDI. I flipped these two. You notice that they're actually above these uh, bass notes only because it sounded uh, it sounded too low uh, down here. So I just wanted to, wanted you to be able to hear them. And then drums, not drums, uh, hi hat. Yeah, just a little bouncy pattern with some accent notes. Yeah, it sounds super wet right now, but um, once it once you kind of hear it in the whole beat, it gives it a little bit more context. Regular clap. This is like my favorite type, my favorite clap of all time, especially for beats like this. Yeah, it's so hard. Um, and then just some some more bells and perks. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, that's that's really it. There's not too too much to it. Um, I'm gonna let this play out. Comment whatever type of tutorials y'all want next. Um, leave a like, subscribe, all that. Share a friend, share it to a producer. And, um, also, go check out this guy's MIDI. I don't know his YouTube or anything, but he has some pretty good MIDI. So, 
Uh, yeah, shout out to him. And yeah. <laughs>